What's up, guys? Welcome to the stream tonight, getting things started a little hastily. I need to get some music up and running. Uh, and But we won the die roll here. We're going to be streaming a little bit of um, Popper tonight. I thought I'd switch it up from the magic. Sorry, I thought I'd switch it up from the Skyrim, rather. So we'd been uh, on Skyrim the last few nights. So it's good to play different things for sure. Uh, what kind of music do we want to play tonight? <clears throat> Something. Here we go. Not too aggressive. Okay. Let's draw our opening hand. And three lands. But. Mm, I think we can do better. He's going to keep. We're going to mull. Because we don't we didn't have any mana fixing. And his hand's worse. Which is unfortunate. You know, we mulligan on the play. Obviously not where you want to be. But we need like a mix of things. This is a better mix. We can easily put a land back. And then we need to put back one more. Um... Let's see. I actually think I'm going to put back this vines. It's pretty close. I don't quite know what the best play is there, but let's go with that. Okay, so we're going to open with forest, abundant growth. Draw our card off the abundant growth and pass a turn. Okay, so that was a good draw. It's kind of like protection, not quite the same thing, but a, but a little bit. Um, let's see. His play is okay. So he's on elves, which is good news for us. Uh, he probably has very minimal interaction. Um, probably no flyers, I would guess. So we're just gonna run out Plague Stinger right away. And that's that's definitely good. That was uh, kinda good for us to see that he's on elves. So he's gonna get in for one. Second main burning tree into ledge walker. can't be blocked except by creatures with flying. So the leg ledge walker itself does in and of itself does not have flying, which is good to note. Drew another land. So we're gonna go land, seal of strength, and land rancor. So we're getting in for three. We could make it six. Um, I don't think there's a big need to. I think we'll just get in for three and pass the turn. And then let's see, it'd be another th six next turn, right? <coughs> so we'll see what we hit. We'll probably hold the last land in hand for a bit so we can kind of lead on that we are um, holding up protection. Vines of the Vastwood? Okay. So it's going to be 5, 6, 7, 8, down to 11. Alright, so he's presenting actually quite a fast clock himself as well. Second main phase. Gonna use Quirion Ranger to get out a Nettle Sentinel. Got it. Okay. And let's see. He drew a Plague Stinger, which is basically like a chump blocker, which is actually really good for us, though. So, how much? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's getting in for six. Ten with the vines. And we can block one, which would effectively make eight. So let's say eight. Um, so we're, I think we're doing okay. Um, I think we just get in for three. I don't think we need to make it get uh, six because it doesn't really change. Whether he's at um, six or whether he's at nine is really the same thing in this equation. In my, it, at least in my opinion. So we got a, uh, oh shit. You know what, I should have tapped differently. There we go. To cast Plague Stinger. Sometimes make that mistake. Another thing I'm just remembering right now, I gotta change, let's see, my mess, my stream message of who are my recent subs. Cool, so we we obviously had him there. Okay, so let's unlock our sideboard. We're against mono green. Oh gosh, I don't really know if there's anything we want to bring in against mono green. Um, I don't really think we need these unearths. Dispel actually does have some play against him. Um, to stop his own vines, I suppose. He could have gut shots, that's a possibility. But I don't know if we really want to how much I don't really know how much exactly we want to like play around gut shot, you know? Or the possibility of a gut shot. Um, okay, so he's not gonna keep seven. We have cyclers. We have a little of everything except creatures, but I think we can keep this non-creature hand because we're on the draw with a couple of redraws. <sighs> Unfortunately, he's off to a fast start. We drew another card we didn't really want to see. Nature's Claim. Basically just brought those in as a gain four for myself. Actually, he might have Rancors, that's a possibility. So I guess it's not a complete dud in that regard. There's a chance we'll use it. Um, okay, so I guess he's gonna make it three. Okay. Okay. So he, if that's all he's got so far, potentially we can beat that hand. Um, I think we just run this out because it's gonna, it would be hard for us to hold up to, it would cost us a lot without having another land in, in hand to play. I think it would cost us a lot to try to hold up mana for it. So I just wanna take three, 14. Okay, and just a pass. Okay, looking really good for us. That's, that is very good news for us. Uh, so what do we want to do here? We could do Rancor, Rancor, hold up vines. That gets in for five with vines protection. This is going to be a fast fucking game, isn't it? Oh yeah. What you got, buddy? You gonna kill me in one swing here? Five. With vines protection. <coughs> Take three. Burning tree, okay. What is 
this epic confrontation. Target creature you control gets plus one to fight target creature you don't control. Uh, yeah. hexproof. Cool. That was a that was a quick easy game, wasn't it? We are up a game um, for tonight. We are now one and zero, which is nice to see. Um, so now we can look to see if we can find any other popper players. Nice to start off uh, the night on a win. I am gonna go AFK for a moment. Um, and then I'll be right back. Mic off. Mic on. Oh, sweet. Wait, what the fuck is Scott you doing, man? Okay, pardon me. Somebody... That was weird, wasn't it? Guy, like, joined the game and, like, started casting spells before we rolled dice and shit like that. Maybe he just wanted to be on the stream. Um... Let's give it a few, let's give it a couple minutes. Uh, see if anyone shows up for popper. Usually they do. Mic off.
My gone. And that's a bummer because we found somebody for like our first game right it wouldn't be a short game and now we're kind of striking out I hate to cut the stream so short and that was just wasn't very long I could switch games um, could switch to Diablo or Skyrim I was kind of in the mood for some popper though. Sometimes it's just hard to find matches and then other times it, you find so many of them. Hmm. His quick 2-0 against elves though, wasn't it? They don't really have much of a match against us apparently. Um, oh hey, Diddy, Diddy's Ballad. What's up, dude? Not much. I had like a really fast game one against elves playing uh, like five color snow infect. Oh, hello. We might have an opponent. Let me switch views here real quick. There we go. <coughs> and cool. So we won the die roll. I'm just going to let the opponent know that we are streaming. hand we do have a couple of threats but no evasion um, a little bit of mana fixing I think we can probably mull and, and do better um, we don't have any pump in this hand it's nice because glycerin elf gets down so early but um, we also just don't know what he has for blockers right so Thanks for the heads up. I may have to leave abruptly at work, unfortunately. Mole for me, you keeping? Yeah, he's gonna keep his seven. Okay. This hand has two cyclers. Um. It's got protection, it's got pump. I think we can put back this reckless charge as much as I love that card. Um, and then just hope to hit a creature. Because we do have a we do effectively have a couple of redraws, so we yeah. Hopefully we'll hit uh, an evasion threat. More pump. Sometimes you end up eating your own words, you throw back a hand that had a creature and had lands and then you get a hand with no creatures but that's how it goes right ah so we're against storm apparently okay ah uh, fuck we do not have much of a game game one against storm unfortunately so that's too bad We have a good game too, between like duress and dispel. There we go, there's a threat. Okay. All right, cool, now we can start doing some counting. Um, so Rancor makes three, and then Mutagenic Growth makes five, and then it would be more than five with a Vines the following turn. Yeah, so. Okay, so we have him dead in two attacks. What is this? Remove a depletion counter from the land. Add two blue mana to your mana pool. So he has, pardon me, he has one blue floating. And not going to spend it. <clears throat> he, it's hard to say when he's going to try to go off another land um, so 
if we go Rancor, that's three. Mutagenic growth makes five, right? And then Vines makes nine. Yeah, I just, I don't think there's any reason not to just swing for three. We could, you know, pop our mutagenic growth, but uh, the difference between three and five doesn't really matter here. Neither does the difference between uh, nine and five, for example. So instead, I think I'll just uh, hold up mana, basically, and uh, hope we live through the turn. Okay, so that's a good sign for us. we might have it so this is three if i make it seven he's dead um do you have interaction if not you're dead looks like it probably a quick game one quick game one fuck yeah all right, cool. Um, that's really good for us winning game one against Storm. So we're gonna bring in all the dispels, all the duress. Um, his deck does tech, I think, plays red spells. So we'll bring in those. What do we take out here? Uh, let's take out all the unearths. Um, I guess let's take out mutagenic growth because it's like our worst pump spell. And I guess seal of strength is our second worst pump spell by that rationale. <coughs> let's just hope for a fast hand with, with a little bit of um, interaction. No land, so we're obviously gonna have to mull. So now we're on a six card hand on the draw. And we do have, this is actually a really, really awesome hand. Um, kinda want everything except I guess this Reckless Charge. Not that it isn't a great card, but I think we wanna um, maintain as much interaction as possible in this match. And I think that's gonna count for a lot. So we're gonna keep He's on land go, pretty standard. We drew a dispel, fuck yeah dude, we got so much interaction now. Um, as long as our blighted agent doesn't die, then we are looking really, really good. Another dispel. Does this thing produce blue? Yeah, it does. Okay, learning new things. Bottom, bottom, draws a card, another land and go. Okay. So I can duress and pass. Hmm. I guess I want to get my threat down because I got to start killing him. Um, and I don't know if a single duress was ever going to be enough to... Okay, so he doesn't appear to be going off right now, which is good for us. So what are the best draws for us? Like uh, an Astrolabe into another land, probably, is about the best possible draw for us, I think. Um, so we can hold up Dispel slash Hydroblast. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, and I think we'll just get in for one. I think that's better than dressing. Um, yeah. So 
cycles a street wraith. Star. Two hydroblasts and two dispels. We just need a little more mana fixing at this point. Basic force is not what we're in the market for. Um, get in for one. I think we're, I, I wouldn't see any reason why our plan has changed. And I am going to play these lands out because of Cave of Temptation. Um, possible Cave of Temptation activations. So not really interested in sandbagging lands. Uh, not yet anyway. So one, so he looks like he might be going off. Black and white. Spend the black to duress us. Um, yeah, that resolves. Okay. One white floating. Honestly, our hand is quite redundant, so like whatever. Takes our duress, okay. Makes sense. One mana floating, spend it on a sphere. Pass the turn, okay. So we need a little more mana fixing. Plague Stinger. Hmm. I wonder if he can play through a single counter spell right now. He might be able to. I don't know. Guess we're gonna find out. Spend a white to cast a star. No, he's gonna crack a star, I see. And cast the zombie. Okay. And he's gonna energy tap. Uh it's a sorcery. Okay. Yeah, I can't stop it because it's a sorcery. Yep. It goes up to eight colorless. So he's gonna change some of that mana to colored mana, presumably. He might he definitely might have us here. Uh what the fuck's going on now? play a star I guess it's changing more mana to cast rush of knowledge he probably has us we just didn't draw enough mana fix well that's part of the problem is we didn't draw enough mana fixing I guess he's playing with mostly sorcery speed spells isn't he kind of like set up here for an instant speed battle and He's just not playing any, in, not playing very many instants. He is down to two mana now. Faithless looting. Uh, he only has one mana floating. Uh, I'm gonna cash in this hydro blast while I have the chance, I guess. So now he's down to one mana, which maybe that doesn't really matter if he Makes an insane amount. What is this? Sorcery as well? That one's instant. Okay. It's tough. Like, there's so many spells that um, <laughs> we're trying to play around. It's up to eight storm now. Plays another shambling attendant. Casts energy tap. <laughs> Makes eight colorless. Casts metamorphose to make two blue. Careful study. 
draw two, discard two. It's up to 12 storm. Dark ritual. Rush of knowledge. One good thing that helps us a little bit is we'll be on the play for the next game. Um, so he's at 15 cards in hand. Um, seems like he's got it. Um, so he needs to cast that uh, vampire creature that says whenever he gains life, we lose life. And he needs to have a mana morphos in hand. And then he can storm off um, at this point. And then he needs to cast a few more innocuous spells to make sure that he hits uh, storm count 20. So it's at 16 uh, plus the creature itself. Yeah, looks like he's got us. I think this combo is so damn hard, you still make them go through it. Because it's it's not always obvious. It's not like uh determin it's not I wouldn't say it's deterministic personally, but it's pretty deterministic. Maybe, maybe we're not quite dead. Maybe he's just gonna go for the triple Kermag Angler draw, um, which we're still probably quite dead to, but let's see. We can jump block one angler, take 10 down to 10, and then the other angler would be a 4-4. Four, four. Um, and then if we draw another creature off the top, yeah, there's probably, I don't really know if there's like a line of draws that we, that exist for us that would allow us to uh, not die and or kill him. I guess I'm just gonna concede the game because um, there's no draws we can find that are gonna keep us alive anyway. Uh, what do we, anything to change here? Probably not. I guess we could try to mess with his mana fixing a little bit with nature's claim. Um, it's probably not worth it though. Let's draw our seven. And I think this is a keepable hand for us because he, I mean, it's kind of weird because our mana is not the best, but I think this is a keep. So it puts two to the bottom. We're on the play. So we're gonna go elf pass. And then we'll see what we draw. A mana fixing, mana fixer would be good. So we drew a forest. Let's see. So we could go Cave of Temptation, Reckless Charge, get in for four. And then the next turn, we could go Cave of Temptation, cast duress plus cast rancor getting for another three that puts him to seven i think i like that plan or i can duress earlier i suppose and then i can reckless charge 
plus Rancor next turn. Right? Let's just do that. Uh, maybe it would have been better to address a little later. I'm not sure. It's kind of narrow. Um, I guess we take the rush. Get in for one. Pass turn. Because next turn we're going to be able to get in for five, six, which puts him at seven. So it goes Sphere, Star, Ancient. So he has one unknown in hand. And okay, so we're going to go for Rancor. Plus Reckless Charge, attack for six, put you to seven infect. Yep, now he's just dead on board. <sighs> so he's gonna try to go off, okay. Cracks star makes black. Cycles a street raid. Caches in that land. I guess we're just sitting here waiting to see if we're dead. Casts a preordain. So three mana floating. It's just really all about whether or not he can go off from this position. Huh. I guess we're just waiting to see if he can go off from this position. Not much else. Because if not, he's dead on board. <coughs> uh, that's his land for the turn. Okay. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, so does that keep him alive? Let's see. Because if I... If I flash this back, this becomes... It's already three power. It becomes a five power trampler, right? Three, two, one. No, it com becomes a six power trampler, right? And he's got five defense. And he's got two cards in hand. Um, okay. So I guess we're just casting this Blighted Agent. We could bash in for one point of damage and then put Rancor on the Blighted Agent. Is that better? Uh, let's think. Do I, is there a reason for me to bash in for one? And then put Rancor on the Blighted Agent? I guess so. Oh, wait, no. There's not a reason to do that. Okay, yeah, this is the play here. I think I was counting as though we were going to cast the Reckless Charge, but we're not going to cast the Reckless Charge, so that's the play. Okay, well now he's just dead on board to my flashback uh, spell. Attack for four, dude. Forgot it had flashback. Good games that's a good spot to call it but man that was an awesome stream um really liking this snow infect list like best of everything this is a really cool card that i found recently that um it's good against electricery 
and uh, Mono Black, the Kombucha Witch. Um, so that's my only white spell in the deck, but otherwise, it, I guess you would call it four color in effect. Um, this has got a lot of really good cards. Hi, Amanda. Um, gonna call the stream short here, but I hope everyone enjoyed. Uh, tune in next time, guys. Crushing some more.